G'day everyone. I'm going off topic with this video. It's not about race car models. It's about these old dusty bits of junk I found in a box in the garage. I'd forgotten I even had them, but now I've done some research, I'm going to give them away. of a backstory to rediscovering these, um, a member of my local model club brought in a gangster model that had bullet holes in it into one of our club meetings. And g'day to the Packenham Modelers Group, by the way. Anyway, this thing had bullet holes in it, and that triggered a, hang on, I've seen this before, I reckon I've got one of those. So I searched the garage, found the box, and not only did it have a gangster model in it, it also had these other pieces in various states of falling apart. I don't remember the exact circumstance of how I ended up with them, but I think it was through a work colleague of my mum who was throwing out all sorts of junk um, after their kids had moved out of home. So rather than ending up at the tip, the models have been with me for the last 40 odd years. I knew nothing about the cars or the kits that they were built from, so I jumped on the internet and did some research. But if I've got something wrong, let me know in the comments below. Or maybe you've even built one of these, that would be interesting to hear. I'm going to give these away because they're not really what I do, which is race car models. I'll initially offer them to members of my club because I know one person in there is interested in the gangster model and someone else is putting together a diorama of a wrecking yard. But if there's any left over, I'll stick them on the blog or put them up on Facebook. Now, we'll take a look at each one, but if you want further information on any of these particular models, have a look in the description below because I've added links to some review videos that have been produced by other people. Firstly, this is the thing with the bullet holes. Now, a friend reckoned it was a Duesenberg, but on closer inspection, I think it's the 1928 Lincoln Sport Touring from a Gangbusters series of gangster cars in 125th scale by MPC. Obviously, it's in poor condition, very dirty, bits of broken, top comes off. Um, this is off the, the, goes on the back of the car. It's got bullet holes in it. Is it going to focus up? There we go. Yep, bullet holes in it. Uh, same with the windscreen. Bullet holes in it. The gangster has got a gun in his hand. Okay. Um, it looks like it's come out of the barn. Now, it is missing the Thompson submachine gun, but under one of these seats I saw, yeah, we've got... Um, oh, the diff just fell out of it. That's not good. Anyway, um, there's a knife. That's a knife. <laughs> There's a knife in the back. Um, this model has been painted. The other ones, uh, from memory, don't have much paint on them, but this one has been brushed painted. Um, and the paint itself is still pretty good, but it's just all the plastic and the glue. And all the radiators come out of it. There's um, bullet holes in that. <laughs> yeah, so that's the, uh, the gangster car. Now, the tyre here is sort of melted. Uh, that's a bit typical of uh, a number of the wheels and tyres in, in these. But anyway, that's the uh, the first one. We'll get that out of the way. And next up, my favourite... Actually, no, we'll leave that one to last. Next up, we'll have the Tarantula Dragster. Now, I was pretty sure this was not a real car because um, who would put spider webbing in the suspension and headlights on a Dragster? Uh, but anyway, I suspect that it was a fantasy car, and that's exactly what it is. Uh, one of many designed by Tom Daniel, a guy with a legendary status in the American kit world. Pretty confident this is the 124 scale kit by Monogram, and there is a review and build video in the description below, plus a great insight into the talents of, uh, of Tom Daniel as well. Now this is, it's, again, it's coming apart in places, there's bits missing, uh, some of those parts are still in the box, but uh, I don't know how complete this all is in its entirety, but it hasn't been painted. This is still in the in the plastic colour of the kit, and it does have decals on there. Um, but yeah, that's the uh, tarantula. I don't really know much about the big swoopy styled cars from the 1920s and 30s, but I knew this was a Rolls Royce because that's what the badge says. It looks like it could be the 1931 Rolls-Royce Phantom by Monogram, but I, I'm not 100% certain on that. It's a number of damaged parts. So over here, for example, there's a, there's a something's taken a bite out of it. Looks like this uh, goes up, does it? Yep, rear back seat 
um, not sure if that wheels off this kit or another one, but anyway, uh, again, melted tires. We've got an engine in here by the look of it. Um, this kit is not painted. It's just all in the original original uh, plastic color. So we've got engine, exhaust, driveline detail in there. Yep, so uh, it certainly does look like it's been found in a barn, this one. The next one, I have got no idea what it is. Well, at least I initially didn't. I have worked out that it's some sort of Duesenberg. But as to which one exactly, I don't really know. Uh, it's possibly a 1932J with Ralston coach work, but it doesn't match up photographs of the real car. So um, happy for you to throw some comments in and let me know what this is. It's unpainted. It's just been glued together by the look of it. Uh, all of the body is plated. So while it's quite shiny underneath, uh, the actual outer surface of the body is quite poor now that might clean up i haven't attempted to clean any of this but there's certainly damage as well so um, it's not going to be a, a perfect uh, if anyone wanted to restore it, it's not going to be a perfect restoration of the original plating but anyway some sort of a Duesenberg. the next one i don't really understand the thinking to it um it's what they call the boot hill express it's some v monster v8 engine hearse um and this was modelled off a real car. Apparently, there is a real car such thing. So uh, there's bits have fallen out of this, but there is a V8 engine under there. All right, the wheel. I've got all the wheels and everything for this, but they're still in the box because they've all fallen off. Whether it be parts have broken, or I think most of it is just the glue has deteriorated to a point where everything is falling apart. Again, this is all unpainted, and uh, it's just been basically chopped off the sprues and glued together. I mean, things haven't even been cleaned up. Pro oh, the engine's not even tight. Anyway, so that's the uh, that's the Boot Hill Express. And the last one is a bit of a crazy car from the USA. It's sort of a race car, but I don't think it actually got to properly race. This is Tommy Ivo's four-engine, 32-cylinder, what they call showboat drag car from the early 1960s. Four engines, um, two connected to the rear wheels, two connected to the front. I believe the engines rotated in different directions to stop uh, or prevent the sort of the torque up when it was taking off the line. Um, it's a 25th scale kit originally released by Ravel. Uh, I think in 1963. My research suggests it's not such a great kit and that getting all of the exhausts, of which most of them have busted off this, but getting all the exhaust pipes lined up apparently is a, a real pain. I think there has been a more recent release in 2015, but it's moulded in white, whereas this original is moulded in red plastic. Uh, again, I, I do have the wheels, but um, they're in pretty poor condition. I mean, there's been reaction between the the tyre and the, and the plastic wheel here. Um, quite a unique car and would probably make an interesting build up if um, if I ever got my hands on the uh, the re-release I'd sort of half be interested in doing that for, for real for proper yeah. but anyway that's what's in the um, the box of dusty junk if you've got more information or corrections on any of these models feel free to throw a comment below but until next time cheers <laughs>